Hey guys, Vivi Chan here and welcome back to the Anime Frantic channel. Today we're gonna finally get into The Promised Neverland Season 2 with Episode 1. I'm gonna do Episode 2 when it comes out on Wednesday. And uh, yeah, I am not able to watch this on time because I believe it comes out morning, but I have work! <laughs> so unfortunately, I'm probably not gonna be able to watch it until night. So I don't know if I'm going to have it out super late or the next morning, but better late than never because I am always late, not punctual. I've seen some of you guys questioned me and uh, just doing the best I could to catch up with everything. I kind of want to catch up with everything that's, everything that's quick. Anything that takes longer, like One Piece, Black Clover or something, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a while. But I'm also thinking of doing Dr. Stone Season 2 and also Reincarnated as a Slime Season 2. But I'm probably going to catch up on the second episode because there's a part of me that likes to rewatch everything before starting a season. And unfortunately, they don't have The Promised Neverland on Crunchyroll. So I'm, on, I'm back on Funimation again. Which Crunchyroll and Funimation has some of the same animes that I like to watch on both platforms. Yeah, but there's some cool finds on Funimation still. Oh my gosh, there's this really cute sleepy princess anime. I think it came out like last season, but it's so adorable. And like, I've only watched three episodes, but like, I'm hooked. <laughs> ah. Alright, let's just jump into the episode and play. Omnipolex. <laughs> Funimation logo! Psh. But where are they gonna go, right? They're just in this forest. Are they just running in the dark? I remember last time we left off, the sun was rising, I believe. Or is this a dream? Everyone is dead. Oh, fudge! This is not real. This is not real. Oh my god, what the hell is that thing? Yep. Increase the volume. Oh, it's crazy how like this whole story is based off the idea of like a farm. We eat the food and the monster eat us. Oh my god. Ooh. Amen. Not. Phil. Phil's a good boy. I like Phil. But where are we going? I'm so curious. I know there's like a, a girl. She kind of looks like one of the demons. But is she going to be a friend? Who is she? And how are we going to rescue everyone else in two years? And all the other kids from the other plants? What's out there? Oh, girl! Emma looks so cute with the little braid thing here. And I don't believe Norman is dead. They didn't show a body. Man, the Ray and Isabella thing, though. Nice opening! Oh my god, they just pluck it from outside. Oh. Well, this is the year 2045, right? But of course, it's like an alternate from our world. Everything is 
ginormous. They could make a tree house. Oh yeah, I forgot they cut off their ear. You guys just ran from a freaking like monster beast. Oh yeah, they brought their food. Mm -hmm. Same girl. Yeah, I don't want to lose another friend. Man, everything about him just speaks like a black-haired Kirua. Good. Yeah, they need to find a food source and shelter. I think they survived night, but more clothes and a hiding spot. The scalpel? Oh, snap! Oh wait, I'm confusing Minerva with like Leslie. <laughs> yeah. The owl, Minerva. B632, oh? Oh, neat! Oh, and I thought that was a scalpel. No. Damn, that sound is creepy. Morse code. Touch me. <laughs> First opening. Touch. Password? Point. So Sister Crone left that pen, but, man, I mean, do they really know what happened? Like, of course, they heard about the harvest, but, 
it's, it's just scary to know that the kids know that Norman died. Oh. All right, who wants to test the water first, just in case? But uh, let's believe the book. Somehow I thought Minerva was someone who lived like a long time ago. I wonder if they're only alive at night. Not alive, but active. I feel like they should stay put at night. Maybe that's a bad idea. Of course, the enemy is still looking for them. Oh my god, was that an eye? Oh, I thought I saw something. Fireflies? Oh, wait, was the thing that happened at the beginning this? Yeah, I feel bad even though I'm not running. I have to look at that thing. Mmm, mm, so they could get that thing to fall down there. So, light the fire. Man, when Ray smiles, I feel like I can believe again. That thing just looks like a titan. 
Like, what's the Rod Rice Titan? <laughs> Burn! Oh, wait, what? What? Who cut... Oh my god, they're so close! Is it me or is she bleeding more on her ear? Well, she can check the message. She fainted from blood loss. Is she human though? Nice, Girida. Oh, it's a purple haired girl? Is she a demon or what? At least Ray is running faster than I thought. But damn, those trees are ginormous. Oh man. But was that person a human or a demon? I know there's like a proper name for the demons, but I don't remember it. Because it looked like he was wearing some mask thing. Look at those light bulb plants.
I have like made in abyss feels. Oh, we're all here. Okay. Huge sigh of relief. Oh, it's cute they're hugging. Man, this music is sending a chill down my spine. That's it? Anything? Okay. Wait. Aww. That was like morning time and then we were gonna discuss. <laughs> yeah, but why would demons be helping? So there are stray demons. Hmm. Stray? Like. The de facto demons, not apart from the rest. Is it possible that humans can turn into demons? This is a beautiful melody. Because, like, they look like human. The only difference is they got, like, this mask, partial mask. Like, they look more human than the other devils demons because the other demon that's trying to catch them to eat in the farm are like hooded and well i guess they could look humanoid humanish underneath but it's mostly just like the horns and the mask and then some of the demons have the like two eyeball things and then their their dogs their hunting animal look like that same face but it's like a deer or dog body Yeah, I probably should listen to the song instead of talking, but yeah, it's a pretty song. Preview? Oh, the thing with Promised Neverland is there is no preview. Wait, let me go back to that message that he wrote them. 
All right, Ray's message was just to go to the William Mer William Minerva's point of zero six three two. There's a pursuer. All right. So far, the episodes has like a totally different feel from like season one. Well, of course, season one they're at the orphanage where it's safe and sound until they got until they found out the truth. But now they're on the run, so it's like they it just feels like they're so puny tiny in this like huge forest. This huge forest reminds me of something from like now. I don't know why, but something from Miyazaki, like the huge, there's like huge trees in Miyazaki films, whether it's like Totoro or like Nausicaa, and then it just gives me like Made in Abyss and Attack on Titan feels, just cause like that, that monster thing looked like, looked like a titan, and then like, you know, it just feels like creepy vibes, like something's gonna pop out, which it did. I did not expect the demons to be on their tails so fast, but I guess it's to be expected cause they're like, oh, they're not the entrance then uh, they're in the forest so and they're hunting dogs are those dogs they look kind of like a mix between a dog a deer and a demon those those things can smell you out the enemies that's helping us are also demons so it's like but they look more human demon if you get what i mean i said only like the top part and their feet and maybe hands look demonish but the rest of them but but you know, they have hair, it looks, it looks like she got a cute face. But why? But why are they helping us? And I guess they don't know William Minerva. I'm just, I mean, they said the other kids were fine. Hopefully they are. I mean, they didn't tie up Emma and Ray, so looks like everything is okay. But I can't wait to hear that girl's backstory. And overall, the kids did a pretty good job running away. Because like, if I was there, I'd be like frozen. I'd be so tired and like so scared of course they trained a few weeks to get their body strong so that's why they can run fast and have a strategy split into groups yeah and i'm glad girida was the one who's like don't just follow the girl in the hood like reveal who you are but i wonder what their reaction was when you know she took off her hood and then they saw the horns and stuff i don't really know her name she said the other guy's name was like shunda or something but i have to rewatch the episode to like take a look but uh, yeah, I cannot wait for the next episode to drop. I will see you for the next reaction. Peace. Okay, episode 2 is out, but it doesn't come out on Wednesday. It comes out on Thursdays. But that don't matter because I'm still late. <laughs> I tried to watch it on, you know, Thursday, Friday night, but I fell asleep. And then I'm just going to do it on Saturday morning. So let's just jump into the episode and find out what's up with this demon girl and uh, the dudes that help us out and play and they pull X dun, 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 dun. man I gotta learn this song Oh shoot, that, that's still creepy. I forget. Oh man, I wonder what mother, Mama Isabella, is doing at the moment. Did she get punished for letting so many children escape? Or like, not yet. Like the demons are like, let's wait till we capture the kids first and then... Because she's supposedly the best, so just wondering. Oh my god, Phil! And I did not expect the demons to be on our tail so fast. So the last episode when they just appeared and they started chasing Ray, I was like, holy crap, oh my gosh. Like, I understand there was like that monster pet thing that was chasing them, but you know, that's not, in, not that intelligent. So we could escape, plan it out. But the demons are smart. So I got kind of scared for a moment. But luckily, uh, demon girl came to help us out. I forgot her name. I think she mentioned her name and the other dude's name but uh I forget oh man I can't wait for them to like get older come back like what's the plan ah
Mujica. Are they? Like, I remember being called that before. Maybe they used to work at the base of the food. Just gonna reveal. Are they vegans? They eat other other animals' brains. <laughs> yeah, well, they were out for a while, maybe a couple days. Did they say? Oh, they also eat that. I hope so. Oh, look at those claws. Story time. Oh. Oh, I thought they were going to reveal their mask. I wonder how's the food compared to home. Uh huh. It's good. So it makes me wonder what they eat at the house compared to this food. Same? Different? Interesting. They're demons, but they believe in God? I don't know. They didn't say that. They just said religion. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Eh?
My God. Oh, God. A thousand years? My God. Wow, they're handling this a lot better than I thought. Hmm. Why, we already escaped the farm. No one's come and gone today. Hmm, I love that voice. And that's where we're headed for. Man, if they cross over, there's going to be another war between the two. I think she's too excited. No. Oh. Mm-mm. Oh, she's... I don't know. I feel like they're gonna find this. They got those dog-like demons. Mmm. Sounds too good to be true. It's too happy. I'm scared something's gonna happen. I like that they're optimistic. I was just scared like a demon was going to pop from behind. Oh, you're not going to come with us the whole journey? Oh, the braid? Oh, no.
<laughs> oh, Gita does so creepy and scary. Yeah, but we lost too many family friends. Oh my god, they smiling. Oh my god, this is so adorable. Oh, that was beautiful. By the time you read it, I made it exactly like, ah, he's the type to see it and learn it. Oh my gosh, I saw white hair and I thought Norman. <sighs> wow, it's crazy. Some of these kids are like five and learning survival skills. Nice. Hopefully they bond so much with the kids that Muchika and Sanju would like to come with us. Maybe? <laughs> I can only hope. Because I can't believe if we're only going to see them like a few more days and then goodbye. Gonna be the next Katniss. Make sure to come back. Oh. Good.
Don't feel bad for it. Don't feel bad for it. Yeah, one hesitation and <clears throat> someone is dead. Those red flowers. Blood. Death. In the end, it's just a cycle. They eat us, we eat something. Oh! Damn. So they are Christians. Demons that are Christians. Oh, makes sense. Yeah, when you kill something, you gotta drain the blood. Mm -hmm. Oh, probably trauma from seeing, was it Connie, the first girl? Mm hmm. Yeah, it's usually the living that will have to suffer. The dead is already in peace. Damn, it blooms from the blood. Yeah, a lot of mixed feelings right now, but gotta do what they have to to survive. She come back a changed... That was an episode that was so fast. My flipping god. Uh, yeah, that looks like a cross right there. Uh, sorry if you hear like some background noise. I don't know if someone is like playing music. Anyways. Wait a minute. Is that um Sonju without his mask? I don't mean, like, they look pretty much humans. They just have, like, the mask hiding their eyes. I don't know if they have one eye or, like, two eyes that are just, like, on top of each other. Because that's what the other demons have. Yeah. But other than that, they just got some fangs and, like, claw, not long nails. And I guess superhuman strength. And, yeah, everyone learning to hone their survival skills and I, I guess the biggest surprise for me is uh, they said they don't eat human brains for religious reasons. I mean, that, that doesn't mean they have to help us, but they're still nice enough to do it. And I wonder, like, I mean, of course, there's female demons, but we don't really see except for, um, oh, shoot, what was her name? It's not Makino. Mu, Mujiki? Oh, shoot. Oh, they don't have previews for Promised Neverland. I mean, part of me wants to see more. Uh, 
And I just love Emma and Ray's excitement when they found out, whoa, there is a human world out there. Of course, it's been a thousand years since humans and demons have made the pact. Human world, no one has crossed. Supposedly, nobody has crossed. Maybe William Minerva has already done it. Yeah, but the, 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 the thing is, the bad demons, they saw Ray's note to go to the location. So hopefully they don't know what that code means. I get the feeling they might do, but let's hope not. Uh, of course, I empathize with uh, Emma's feelings of like killing, cause like it's so ironic. You escape from those that are killing them for food, but she still has to kill an animal for food. I mean, if you really want to think about it, if you try to be like vegans, that's like healthy. Is I mean, I'm not vegan. I'm just saying, cause ev all energy comes from the sun. And this, the plants absorb the sun's energy. So technically, if you eat the right plants, you'll get all your nutrition. But I understand meat tastes good and it just feels more hearty. And I'm not sure about the variety of plants that they have. Because like their world seems to have like different types of plants and animals compared to our world. Emma still like pushing herself to do the most. And I love that Gita that have to like tell her stuff. Don't be so reckless. You and Ray. And like the little moments where everyone was crying for them and just saying don't don't set yourself up as bait and like try to kill yourself for us because we worry about you as well just as you worry about us. Imagine they did not meet Sonju and Muchka. Like it would be so much harder to like navigate. Yeah, because like at least there's a secret tunnel that goes out. The thing is they gotta cross the wasteland and they can see some demons there. That's gonna be the big trouble. I, I understand there is, they, they, they could probably escape. The thing is, how are they gonna come back for the child, the other children and save all of them? And even if they do, this is gonna cause like demon war, demon human, demon slash human war. Like this is gonna be war, war of worlds. What's, what's that movie called? Uh, world of war and finally when emma had to kill that bird and she had to stick that flower vita inside the bird the gunda was to pay respect yeah when you think about it like from the predator's point of view like they're just paying respect and like this is causing no suffering because like if you think about it if you live in the grace house and you never knew that you're gonna die like that you think you have a wonderful life and a quick death, no suffering, but it's the ones that know, it's the praise that know the result of it that suffer. So Emma on one side, she's paying the respect, but at the same time, she feels different about it because she saw Connie's death, but she's hoping Connie and all the other children didn't have to suffer. Hopefully she gets to see Norman one day again. And yeah, that is pretty much it for this reaction. Feel free to leave me your comments and thoughts. I'll be sure to read them and uh, see you guys in the next reaction. I'll try to be early. I'll try to make it by Thursday night. <laughs> and uh, peace out.